Hello and welcome. I have received the Holbein paints that I bought um, in Jackson's watercolour sale. So two, four, six, I've got eight colours here and I'm going to swatch these out and maybe do a little bit of colour mixing. And I've also got some other purchases that I will be sharing with you. But let's do this first. I haven't ever used Holbein paints other than their Bright Rose. So um, that's why I ordered these um, five mil ones. The only one that I ordered in the 15 mil was Payne's Grey because I use a lot of Payne's Grey and I haven't come across a Payne's Grey that I didn't like. So um, these five mil ones all cost me three pounds something each. They, they varied slightly in price, but they were three pounds something. They were all under four pound and uh, the 15 mil one was six pounds something. I will put a link to Jackson's sale. I think it's almost ending though. Um, so these are the colours that I've chosen. We're going to start off with Jean Brilliant number one. I've already placed them on my palette here to play with. Jean Brilliant number one is, um, it gets two stars for um, uh, light fastness, which uh, they only have three stars. Um, they go one, two and three with Holbein. Um, so two is, 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 is good. Um, one is moderate and, and three means that it's, um, extremely, um, uh, light fast. So let's start with our Jean Brilliant. This has got PO20 and PY35 as the pigments. Jean Brilliant is a little bit like buff titanium in um, in its usefulness. Um, it's, it's a really good mixing one. So here we go. And it is um, quite opaque. This one is an opaque colour. Oh, let's just water that down a bit on that side. Right. So, I will bring these up so that you can see them once they're dry a little bit more. My next colour is Yellow Ochre, which is PY42 as its pigment. It says that it's opaque on their website and it's three stars, the highest rating for light fastness. So, that's... Oh, yes, they're right, actually. It is quite opaque. And we'll just water that down a bit more on the end here. Then we have got a colour that I don't use very often. I think I might have this as a tube, uh, a schminker, horodam tube. But this is Perilene Maroon. Um, Perilene Maroon is semi-transparent. Mm -hmm. It gets three stars for the light fastness. And our pigment is PR179. Oh, that is a gorgeous colour. Let's just water that down. Oh, I love that. In fact, I like these three colours together. Right, what have we got next? Mars Violet. So, Mars Violet. Pigments, PR101, PV23 and PBR7. It's two stars with its light fastness. Don't want to get too close to that one because it might run. Um, and it's semi-transparent, although I've put that on quite thickly. We'll see how we go. Add a bit of water there. That's a nice colour. 
We've got sepia next. I love a sepia. I know some people love Van Dyke brown or some people are okay using the um, like an umber but um, my preference is a sepia. Okay, there's our sepia, followed by cobalt blue. So this is cobalt blue, it's not cobalt blue hue. It's actual cobalt blue, which is PB28. Three star light fastness and transparent. And it's gorgeous. Oh yes. I prefer cobalt blue to ultramarine. We all have our preferences or favourites, I think. There we go. Next, we have got olive green. So, what can I tell you about olive green? Pigment is PBK6, PB15, and PR122. That is a nice, rich olive green. I am liking these. It's two stars and it's transparent. Oh, I've put it under Payne's Grey. Oh, where is my head? we do here I think we will just do an arrow like so forget that olive green is PY150 PG7 and PR25 it's three stars and transparent now let's do our Payne's grey in olive green's place <laughs> so Oh, I think this is going to be quite a blue. Oh, yes. <gasps> yeah, I can see the blue in that. Um, so, yes, the Payne's Grey is two stars, PBK6, PB15, PR122. I've just put them in the wrong places. So, I have another palette here so that we can do um, some mixes. So let's just write here, mixes. And I think I would like to try, I'm not going to do everything in a proper order. That's just too boring. I'm just going to try a little bit of our Jean Brilliant with our Carolyn Maroon. Oh, okay. That is very pretty. We will just call it JB plus Carolyn Maroon PM. Okay. What else do I want to try my Jean Brilliant with? Let's try it with the Payne's Grey. So, I'll put a little bit more on here. I'll save a bit over there, actually. I've got quite a bit on my brush. We will add it to Payne's Grey. Lovely. So JB plus Payne's Grey PG. And maybe we'll add it to the sepia. See if we get a different brown. Oh, oh, we get like a buff titanium. Look at that. Oh, forgot to put my phone on silent. That's two mistakes I've made already today. John Brilliant plus S for sepia. I love those muted colours. Um, okay, let's. We've got a little bit left on this palette here. 
what shall we mix it with? Shall we mix it with... Cobalt blue. That is pretty. I love all those mixes. Right, what should we play with next? Oh, I didn't write it down. John Brilliant plus Cobalt Blue. Let's see what happens if we mix some of our Perilyn Maroon. So we'll just get some in there. Oh, I'm out of shot. There we go. And we'll mix some of the yellow ochre in with it. Mm. Actually, let's add a bit more of the yellow ochre. Yeah. I don't think I really made that half and half. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We could mix our, let's mix our Perilyn Maroon with the Cobalt Blue and see what happens. Ooh. Oh, look what happens because the cobalt blue is quite um, granulating. That's good. What else might we want to mix? Well, we could mix our perylene maroon with... our olive green and see if we get red and green we should get a brown oh there we go that's a very nice brown and you could you know I'm trying to do it more or less half and half. Obviously, if you do a quarter and three quarters, then you, you're going to get different mixes. Um, right, I need to clean this up. <laughs> Voila. So, what shall we play with next? Oh, I do love playing. Let's try something with this Mars Violet. What do we want to add to this Mars Violet? Maybe we'll add some of the yellow ochre to the Mars Violet. I'm thinking because the Mars Violet has got violet in it, or purple, yellow and purple make brown. So let's just see. Yep. That's a real yellowy brown. What else can we mix? We could do our blue with our yellow, couldn't we? Our cobalt. We'll mix our cobalt blue with some yellow ochre. Ooh, nice. So we've got a slightly different 
green going on there. What happens if we add even more yellow ochre? It hasn't changed it a great deal, has it? Well, it has, but... Okay, what can we do next? Hmm, why don't we try? Oh, I didn't write down what these were. Oh, I'm so mad with myself today. What am I doing? Cobalt blue plus yellow ochre. And that was the Mars violet and yellow ochre. Ooh. Oh, that one was the Perilyn Maroon plus Olive Green. And what was that one? Ah, Cobalt Blue. Ah, Perilyn Maroon and Cobalt Blue. And this was... Marilyn Maroon and Yellow Ochre. Okay, I think I've saved myself there, just about. Um, we could try the blue and the green, couldn't we? Let's try Cobalt Blue with Olive Green. Oh, that's, yep. Now that gives us a very different green. I wonder what happens if I then add some yellow ochre to that. Does it go the same way as the other one? More or less, yeah. So this was cobalt blue plus yellow ochre. Now we could play with our Payne's Grey a little bit. We, I know we've only added Sean Brilliant to it so far. But because this has got quite a bluey tinge to it, I'm going to see what happens if I add some peril in maroon. Ooh. Nice. And then let's take our Payne's Grey and try adding, oops, I need a bit more of the Payne's Grey, try adding some of the green, the olive green. Oh, that's rather nice. Let's just add a bit more of the olive green. Mm. Lovely. I'm trying to think what other mixes we might want. What happens if we mix the sepia with cobalt blue? Try not to let that one run. Oh, that gives us like a um, gives us like a Payne's grey, almost black. 
comma. So that was sepia plus cobalt blue. Ooh, and what was that? Payne's grey plus olive green. And so is that. Payne's grey plus olive green. Oh, I've forgotten what I did there. Oh, it's not my day, is it? We've got a few more spaces, but can I think of any mixes? Let's see. We could... Any paints grey with yellow ochre? I don't think we have. We'll mix that on here now. Oh, paints grey plus yellow ochre. I may have to replay the video myself. Just oh, that was plus a bit more yellow ochre, wasn't it? I can't remember what that one was. Okay. Well, I'm running out of ideas um, as to what to um, mix together, but let's let this dry, and I'll bring it all up for you so that you can have. Um, a better look. Well, let's bring these up now that they are dry and we will see what we've got. Let's get you a bit more level. So there we are along the top. We have our Jean Brilliant, our Yellow Ochre, Perlin Maroon, Mars Violet, Sepia, Cobalt Blue. Then we've got Payne's Grey, so ignore what's written underneath. And then we have got olive green. Um, I put them in the wrong places. And then when we look at these, uh, let's see if I can get them all in, like so, these colour mixes, they are all quite muted but beautiful colours, I think. In particular, let's bring up Perlin Oh, I don't know if it's going to focus. Will you focus? don't know if you can really see that, but the Perlin Maroon and Cobalt Blue, you can really see the two tones in that one. There, I think you can probably see it there. It's really rather pretty. Um, and I think looking at it, you know, as a whole, am I missing anything in this setup? Well, maybe if I wanted a brighter, lighter green, but as I nearly always, well, I do always have some uh, white gouache or my Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White with me, I could lighten up any of these greens, I think, and the olive green. Um, so I think that that would, would, would work. So there we go. Those are just eight tubes um, of watercolour, Holbein's watercolour. They're made in Japan and um, I think they use gum arabic. Um, I, they don't use honey, um, which for me is a plus because it can get quite warm here in the UK in the summer and paints that are made with honey just do not travel. Um, they will just run everywhere. So um, I will clear this away. Bear with me and I will show you some of the other purchases that I have made. Okay, actually, is that the right? Let's put them this way round. Get them in view. Let's move you out of the way, Walter. So, um, I think these, some of these were, believe it or not, from the TikTok shop that I ordered. So let me show you the ones that I got from the TikTok shop. So first of all, I got this one. 
as an addition to my it didn't come with the clip um, travel palettes this cost me three pound fifty seven from the TikTok shop I think that is another good bargain so that's that one what else did I get from the TikTok shop ah yes these water brushes came from the TikTok shop I don't think you can ever have too many so that one's does it say on them what size they are this one is quite a a fine nib what's the next one that one looks as though it's slightly bigger so yes we're going up in size these are all round brushes then we've got oh that's nice oh look at that little square flat brush square <laughs> flat brush that is so handy for when you're doing kind of architecture type things um urban sketching and etc then we've got oh a bigger one so it looks like we've got three rounds oh and mr chunky oh goodness three rounds and three flats i may have to hold that in place to get it in there we go and these just where do we unscrew we unscrew there how does it unscrew well I was going to say that these are a huge bargain but let's try and unscrew this one. Oh, that one unscrews or does it yeah there we go they're not the best <laughs> I'm going to warn you these are not best but for £1.62 for all six <laughs> I don't think you're going to worry too much um, it's they are still going to work but um, yeah they're not the best quality okay so those are our six water brushes £1.62 I mean, you're not going to worry if you ruin them or, you know, if you take them away on holiday, if you accidentally left them, you're not going to cry. Um, so I think that that's, that's quite a bargain. So I'll pop that over there. So those two were from uh, TikTok. Now then, what should we do next? Uh, let's do let's move those slightly out of the way these three now was this one from Amazon this one was from Amazon and it's just some more travel brushes because I'm just really I wanted different types of travel brush these screw on so let's see what we get in this one I'll put the link I'll put all the links below uh -huh. we've got four in here so we have got a little flat one So we have, well, these are the same make as the ones that I got from, let me see if I can show that. So this Fu, Fumu, Fumu <laughs> make, um, I got that from Timu, but these I got from Amazon. So what have we got here? These are slightly different. We've got an eight. 
an eight round, a four round, a number six that is like a dagger, and then a number eight that is a flat. So, um, yes, yeah, slightly different setup. The others were all round. So that's why I've got this because it's giving me a choice. I can mix and match between my sets now as to what I would like to have in there. But these are the screw in, screw on type as well. Um, I'm trying to think how much these were. Uh, how much were these? Let me see if I can. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so these these were a bit more expensive, and they were called Kalinsky. They were twenty one ninety nine. So that's those. And when I move on, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to move on now to this little one, which I got from Timu, which is really, really small. And these are like quarter, quarter pans. Um, and the whole, that whole thing, does it lift out? Probably does, yes. So that's in one piece, basically. So you've got your 12 things there in one piece. I wonder if I need that light or not now. That might be better without, because I've got sunshine coming through the window. Yeah, I think you can see better like that. So um, I will tell you the price of that in a moment. Um, then we have this nifty bag that's got like a pocket here that's quite deep. It's got a little handle to it. And then we've just got one big, one big section here. And I thought that that would be quite good to take some, to pop some small books in and maybe a spare um, A5 watercolour book um, for when I go away. That would be some quite nice, um, a quite nice little bag to put some extra stuff in. And then, uh, what else did I get? Ah, oh, yes. Um, let's just bring this down. I'm doing the walk across the room and you probably can't hear me again thing, aren't I? Okay, I got these, which are, they call them document folders. Um, but I think they are perfect for keeping A5 pads in. So that was just another, I got three of these and I filled them up with lots of little watercolour books and um, watercolour pads, that kind of thing. Um, you can't get much more than a, they're not an A4. They're bigger than an A5, but they're not as big as an A4. They're in between. Um, but yes, those came from Team U. Then from Amazon, I got this book, Creative Abstract Watercolour, The Beginner's Guide to Expressive and Imaginative Painting, and it's by Kate Rebecca Leach. And this cost me about £15, I think, on Amazon. So um, this includes what is abstract art, we get to look at some materials, some colour philosophy, some techniques. Then it 
this gives you some projects abstract shapes abstract botanicals abstract landscapes and then a few other little bits and pieces and there we have the artist and author so i think when we want to do art that is more i don't know i, I call it more doodle art but perhaps it is just abstract art um you know you can you can get an idea by looking at, at these um techniques i mean that of itself i think i mean it, to me that's a bit like um an embroidery um or cross stitch cross stitch sampler but the equivalent in watercolor <laughs> if that makes sense um but I, it all sorts of ideas for like mark making and doing things in a much more abstract way which one of my subscribers was said could we do something with more patterns in and i'm not sure whether this is what she meant um i did ask what she meant i'm not sure that she replied um but i'm loving this kind of idea you know for days when you you don't want to do I don't know an, an actual am, animal or a building or a landscape or whatever it is that's rather lovely where they're all dripping into each other so um i won't do all of the pages but uh i think this gives you an idea and there are some projects in here like this one that you can follow um so yeah organic trees And then we've got more inspiration. Uh, this is another project following through. Underwater world project. So, oh, I like the little houses. Maybe, you never know, maybe I will do a nice abstract that we can, that you can follow along with. Um, yes really pretty like that idea so there you go creative abstract watercolor by kate rebecca leach lastly i've got these two now these came from ebay oh i was going to tell you the prices of some of those team use wasn't i let's just bring that up so uh, this one was £7.48. The document holder was £2.92, the clear document holder. But I will I will try and put links in for everything um, and how much they were. But these are really all what I'm calling bargain buys. Um, these, I think, um, one was £3 something and one was £7 something. Or was it 5 and 7 including postage from eBay. But these are big. These are not a 4. If I get... There we go. This is an A4 folder. And I move that up. You can see that this is bigger an A4, move that one out of the way. So I have to confess that a lovely colleague of mine um, who has her own YouTube channel, Diana Lisa Robinson, let me just make sure I've got her surname right. We are newly acquainted. Um, Yes, Diana Lisa Robinson. Um, I will put a link to her YouTube below because um, she showed me these that she'd bought. Um, well, actually, she had this one. I don't think she's got this one. And she'd got others. I only have two. So you might want to um, go to her 
YouTube and, and see the others that she got from. I'm not sure where she got them. Oh, she got them from a little antique shop. She found them in a little antique shop. Mine were from eBay. So these are both um, how-to books, I suppose. And they're published by Walter T. Foster. Um, I think they, they obviously did a whole series because this one's number 54. This one is number 66. So let's just start with the the first one. I mean, look, that was $2 originally. 40 fine prints to paint from. How Robert Wood paints landscapes and seascapes. And I mean, it's... Well, I need to move up again, don't I? There we go. And if I go over, can we get it all in? Oh, if I move my wire, I think we might. There you go. So we can turn the pages. These are just stunning. It looks like these are oils. Oh, and look list of how to draw art books and their numbers Ooh, i might be able to find some more so even though this is um, oils and not watercolors and you can see that he's using a palette knife so they're not watercolors we can use them for inspiration ourselves we just have to remember that we can't put the lights on top of the darks. We need to reserve the white of the paper. Or we can always use white gouache or good old Dr. P.H. Martins. Um, but it's it's lovely um, because he's named all the colours that he's using and, and where. You can see these little arrows going in. Um, it really is broken down beautifully as to what he's done um, to get his picture. So, um, and I'm a fan of autumn and there's quite a few autumn pictures in here, which I think is wonderful. Is that just one page? Yeah, it is. Um, look at these. Oh, I want to be there. These are lovely. Oh gosh, I do like old books. I like the smell of old books. It's so much fun when you find what I call hidden treasures. So I think that was, um, oops, it's come out. It's the, um, it is secondhand, so it's to be expected. So that's the first one. And there were several more on eBay I saw. This one is how to draw and paint birds, number 54 by Lynn Bogue Hunt um, and look at this I'm quite into birds or I'm getting into birds should I say and I just love the breakdown the breakdown and you know helping you to find those big shapes get those in and then refine what it is that you're doing. I mean, that's just lovely. But yes, on the back of the bird, look. Wonderful. Pheasants. Pheasants are so colourful. I really like pheasants. It's a falcon. Grouse. We've got all sorts of things here. So, yes, these, I think, are just beautiful. Look, broken down how to do our owl. And what I've got here, snow goose, blue goose. Lovely. Ah, oh, look at that on the back. <gasps> mm. Well, I'm very happy with my, oops, with my finds. I'm very happy with all of my little extra, where are we? There. 
and here and here I'm really happy with all my little purchases none of which cost me a lot of money um, and sometimes we just want something that is nice and new and um, a bit of fun and I don't think we always have to spend a fortune on our purchases at all um, it's nice to have some lovely things but we don't um, we don't have to we can still have a lot of fun and buy things that are not so expensive uh, I have got ready not for today but maybe later on or even at the weekend I have got this ready this was in my previous video I've got this ready that I've got my sketch down we're going to be doing a kestrel and that will be our next um, postcard second one in our sort of birdie animal type um, postcards so I hope all of that was useful and sorry that I mucked up some of the um, <laughs> mixes and, and struggled to remember what they were um, and that I got my olive green and Payne's grey back to front but I'm just human and this is about being mindful and um, staying calm and so I'm not going to stress about it um, I'm just going to leave it as it is I'm not going to try and uh, rejig the video I hope that you're all going to be okay with that as well so um, remember to subscribe it's for free hit the notice bell button and um, I will uh, see you again in I don't know one two three days depending on when I have a bit of um, spare time to do another uh, video so until then I've got some sunshine I hope you have take care and um, stay healthy